Hello USD489, this is Marie Henderson. In this video, we're going to look at installing the free Adobe Acrobat Reader DC on your computer. And so I'm here in Chrome and the website I've navigated to is git.adobe.com reader. And there's a few things that you're going to do on this website before you click to install. The first of which is to uncheck a bunch of these boxes. So you don't need the Adobe Acrobat Reader Chrome extension, so you can uncheck that box. And then you also don't need the McAfee security options that they have available here for you. So once you've unchecked all three of those boxes, here in the center of the screen, you're gonna click to download Acrobat Reader. You don't wanna click to download the Acrobat Pro Trial. You want to click to download the Acrobat Reader. So I'm gonna click the yellow button here in the middle of the screen and follow the steps to finish the installation process. So when your file explorer opens, you can save the execute file anywhere on your computer. I'm gonna leave this on my desktop, so I'm gonna click save. And then it appears here in the bottom left corner of my browser. And so I'm gonna click on that file and it will open up installation options. And I'm gonna click yes when the window appears asking me if I want Adobe to make changes to my device. And then as the installation proceeds, I will follow the prompts as directed on the screen. Though this can take a while, you're welcome to do other things on your computer as the process occurs. And so when the download and installation are both complete, you can click here to finish. If you don't want the program to launch right away, you can uncheck that box if you like. It's fine either way. I'm going to uncheck it and click to finish. And this website opens from Adobe, but you don't need to do anything here. And you can actually close your browser whenever you like. And so now I'm going to change the defaults on my computer so that it will effectively use the Adobe Reader I've installed with the PDF files I have saved. So I'm gonna click here in the search bar and I'm going to type default. And from the menu that appears, I'm going to select default apps under settings. And my settings window appears here and I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom and I'm gonna set defaults by app. And so when this menu opens, you'll see your new Adobe Acrobat Reader here at the top and you can click on it and then click to manage. And then for each of the things on this list, you want to click to choose a default and you want to choose Adobe Reader. And so you'll just work your way down the list, choosing Adobe Reader each time for every single one of the file types that's available there. You don't actually have to save anything in this settings menu and you can just close it when you're finished. As always, if you have questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.